Okay everyone, this video is about heart rate health and we're going to take the elementary school student and we're going to pick an, an average heart rate of about 80 beats per minute. Now elementary school kids can have less beats per minute and they can also have more beats per minute. But on the average, 80 is probably a pretty good number to pick. Remember the idea is to have a lower heart rate. The reason a lower heart rate is healthier is because your heart is so strong that it can push a lot of blood per beat and it doesn't have to beat as many times per minute at rest. So this is not when you're exercising. This is just when you're sleeping or sitting around doing nothing. No kinds of movement. Okay, that's a resting heart rate. So at rest, if you have a strong heart, a lot of work, a forceful contraction, squeezes a lot of blood out, and then the heart gets to kick back and rest. And it's very important for the heart to rest, not just to work. So that's what I want you to learn from this lesson. So I'm gonna have a metronome. It's, it's used for music and also the timing of music, like with running. I use a metronome to time steps per minute sometimes. And we're gonna have this set on 80 beats a minute. And it's gonna beep and there's gonna be a little flash. I've also got my, my vintage stopwatch. So we're gonna do 60 seconds. And here's what I want you to do with me. Take your dominant hand, the hand that you would write and throw with usually. It's my right hand. We're going to start with our dominant hand and we're going to squeeze every time that beep happens. Okay, so your heart's actually about the size of your fist too. So this is a very good example. So we're not just going to do a wimpy squeeze because that won't get any blood to go through the body. That heart up here has to push blood all the way down to your pinky toes right so it has to be strong like a really strong fist every single time so you ready we're going to do that 80 times in a row that's a resting heartbeat equivalent of 80 beats a minute so let me get my timer going and we're going to set it down for 80 beats a minute and we'll do a little practice so here's 80 beats a minute so when you're sleeping, if you had an 80 beats per minute resting heart rate, this is how many times your heart is beating. So it's Okay, that's how we're going to do it. Remember, it's forceful. Got to push a lot of blood to the pinky toe. So I'm going to start my stopwatch. Three, two, one. You got to squeeze hard. Okay, got to make a really hard fist every time you hear that beat. Fifteen seconds. That's how hard your heart is working at rest. And there's a rhythm to it. There's a beat, which is why I'm on my drum set. We're all drummers because we're born with a beat and a rhythm in our heart. That's why I use drumming to help students learn movement and rhythm. 40 seconds, keep going. Hard, gotta get the blood down to the pinky toes. 45 seconds, come on, don't quit. Your heart does this your whole life. 70, 80, 90 years. It never stops. And stop. So that is 80 beats per minute. Now, your dominant hand is typically more strong and more fit. So that's going to represent a healthier heart. Now we're going to go to the other side, the non-dominant hand. Let's just say for purposes of example, this is a weaker heart that's less fit, doesn't exercise as much. Typically that's what our hands do. We use one hand more than the other. That's why the non-dominant hand is weaker. Okay, let me reset my stopwatch. We're gonna do the same thing with the non-dominant hand. You ready? Three, two, one, go. So this is the hand you don't normally use as much. Now squeeze it hard. I know it's less fit, but don't quit. Your pinky toe's counting on you. Got to squeeze that blood down. 
This is an example of the heart beating. Remember, your heart is about the size of your fist. Squeeze hard. Don't quit. Do you feel the difference? I do. I can feel a real strength difference. 30 seconds. We're halfway there. Don't stop. Keep going. I think I need to work the left hand exercises more. 45 seconds. Keep the rhythm, keep the beat. And stop. So that is 80 beats per minute with a fit heart, which is our dominant hand, that was the example, and 80 beats a minute with the less fit heart, which is our non-dominant hand. And I want you to compare and contrast. Obviously, both hands got the job done, but I felt way better in terms of strength and endurance with my dominant hand versus the less fit hand. So think about this. If your heart is not fit and you don't go out and exercise and you don't work it hard, then it can't push as much blood per beat. And therefore, it has to beat more times a minute to keep the same amount of blood circulating through the body. So you want a heart that's super, super strong, pushes a lot of blood at one time, and then it kicks back and it does a little bit of rest. So your heart's not always working. If your heart is always working really fast, it's not good for its health. Okay, so that's your heart lesson of the day. Remember, this information came from the handout I created that was on how to estimate your resting heart rate where you take your heart pulse three days in a row before you ever get out of bed and then you add them up and you divide them. There's a little equation that you do so you get a real good accurate resting heart rate number. So make sure to use that handout so you can do this if you don't know what your resting heart rate is. Thank you.